I think it's safe to say that this Anubius propagation tank has been extremely successful. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to set up a tank like this and how it works. This is gonna be my complete guide and there's several years of trial and error that's gone into the development of this setup. But first guys, I'm Will, this is Northwest Aqua Hobby. I propagate aquarium plants and make videos about that subject as well as planted aquariums. I also sell the plants that I grow on my website. So if you guys wanna help support what I do, consider purchasing a plant on my website. I do sell out pretty quick though, so make sure to subscribe to my newsletter. That way you know when I harvest plants and make them available. Right, so how does this setup really function? Well, I have these little plant pots and they're filled about three quarters of the way full with hydrogen, which is an expanded clay type hydroponic substrate. And what that does is allow for a lot of gas exchange for the roots. And then beneath the surface of the hydrogen there, I have hydroponic fertilizer mixed with water and that's what feeds the roots of the plants. I also spray the plants with what's known as a foliar spray, which is essentially a hydroponic fertilizer solution that's sprayed on the leaves and is allowed to run down through the substrate, also fertilizing the upper portion of the roots. So if we pull one of these pots out, you'll see that there's water beneath the pot and it's about you know halfway up the pot or so, maybe a third, and that's nutrient rich water down there. And then if we take this over here to my workstation, uh, we can illustrate what I had previously mentioned. So we have one Anubius plant here, and the, uh, the substrate is about, you know, half to two thirds of the way up the wall of the pot here. Then the pot itself sits in that nutrient rich water, um, and that feeds the roots. Every night I spray the plants with a mixture of hydroponic fertilizer solution and I completely drench the plant so that all of the leaves are covered with the solution and then there's water actually running past, uh, past the leaves onto the substrate. This not only allows the plants to take up fertilizer solution through the leaves, but also through those uppermost roots that may not actually be down into the fertilizer solution at the bottom of the container. This means that your plants are getting nutrition from not only the bottom of their roots, but also from their leaves and the upper portion of their roots. So if you spray the plants every single day, which I do, then the water level inside this tank will slowly rise and eventually will meet the surface of the hydrogen. At that point, what you do is just use a siphon and you come over here and then you drain the tank and then you repeat the cycle that way that the plants are constantly getting fresh solution. So guys, what are you gonna need for a setup like this? Well, obviously you're first gonna need a tank with a lid to keep in all the humidity, and you're also gonna need a light. But beyond that, there's a few things that you're gonna need as well. Tank, lid, and light aside, these are the materials that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some plant pots. You're gonna need hydroponic substrate. I prefer to use hydrogen. You're gonna need fertilizer. I use Foliage Pro by Dynagro. This stuff's been excellent. And you're gonna need a pump spray bottle. All of these things are instrumental to the setup and will help you to succeed. If you guys are interested in picking any of these products up, I will have links in the description to Amazon where you can pick up these products or something equivalent to get you guys started. Do keep in mind though that these are affiliate links, so I will get a kickback if you purchase through those links, so that would be greatly appreciated. All right guys, so now you know generally how the setup works and you know what materials you're gonna need to get going. I thought I'd just kind of run a little bit more in detail about how the setup really works, what the maintenance is like, and things like that. So basically I start with um, these cups, I put the hydrogen in there, and then I take a one to one and a half inch section of rhizome and I place that on top of the substrate. That's essentially how I prepare these cups for planting. Then what I do is I fill the entire bottom of um, my tank here with these cups and I think in total I can fit 119 plants in here and then once I have them all installed what I do is I take my hydroponic fertilizer foliage pro 
and I mix this stuff up at a concentration of two teaspoons per gallon and then I basically pour probably like a half gallon or so of that solution into the bottom of the, the tank here and that's what feeds the bottom of the roots and then what I do is I take my spray bottle which is also mixed um, to a concentration of two teaspoons per gallon and then I spray these plants every single night. Um, generally speaking in the mornings I also spray them again with a uh, very weak solution if not just straight water but I actually have been experimenting with only spraying at night, not spraying again in the morning, and that seems to be producing pretty great results and is a little bit less work. Um, so yeah, I mean, once you get this stuff set up, guys, really all you gotta do is spray them once or twice a day. And then uh, aside from that, really, as the water level slowly rises, all you gotta do is occasionally siphon out some of that water you don't want the water to get up past the top of the substrate because then you'll run into algae issues. Um, really, I only have to siphon water out of here once every month or two, so that's like hardly any work at all. Really, it's just spraying the plants and letting them grow, um, so it couldn't really be more simple than that. Um, one benefit of using this hydrogen substrate is that there's very few bugs that really can grow in here, so you don't have many pests ish, pest issues. Um, it's also very clean to work with, so when it's time to harvest a plant, all you gotta do is just pull it out and pull those pebbles off, and then you can reuse them again. So it's economical and it's clean, not messy, fewer bugs. There's a lot of benefits to using this type of stuff over soil or some other type of traditional setup. As far as lighting goes, I actually have this uh, light on for just four hours a day and I have it on at the weakest lighting intensity possible. But then I'm actually getting about, let's see, eight hours of additional light from my rack over here that's just kind of indirect light that's coming over and into the tank. So I would say that, you know, if you guys don't have a plant rack like I do, then you're gonna to wanna to have a light that is adjustable and you're gonna to wanna to be able to dial that light all the way down to a very, very low intensity. And the reason why is because you do not wanna have too much light in here. That will cause algae issues uh, because you'll be spraying these plants with foliar fertilization. You'll run into issues where the leaves could get a bunch of algae on them or where the hydrogen will get covered in algae too. So it is important to make sure that you, you don't have that much light in here. If you run into algae issues, it's probably related to the lighting or it's because you let the water level get too high. So those are the two things that you need to watch. Make sure the water doesn't get too high. If it does, drain it back down. If you're running into algae um, still, then look at your light, either reduce the number of hours of lighting or reduce the intensity. So guys, that's it. That's pretty much how I run my setups here. Um, this setup I've been kind of critiquing and dialing in for the last couple of years and I couldn't be more happy with how it's turning out. The quality of the plants that it produces is amazing. The amount of work it takes is honestly not much at all. So I'm pretty happy. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you like this setup? If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. But other than that, guys, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, make sure to like the video. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe. Every subscriber helps me out big time. So I appreciate all of you guys. And once again, if you're in the market for any, any aquarium plants, then don't forget to check out my website. Make sure to subscribe to the newsletter. That way you know when I harvest plants and have them available. All right, guys. Catch you in the next one.